hard work and sweat, you're buying a piggy bank that other people are going to be putting money into. And that is the model. If you bring it down to just brass tacks, if other people are putting money in buying down, paying down your mortgage debt, paying your property taxes, and, and it is a great investment. And let me, let me tell you this, that all Oregonians and anybody looking to invest in Oregon, Oregon it is still a good bet. Uh, here, we have a uh, very low vacancies, very expensive, very expensive. <laughs> and and being a property owner and investment property owner is still a very good bet. So, um, but also I heard some small landlords said, you know, this this three months um, relocation cost is very expensive, and that's not in my business model of trying to prepare if I'm going to make some changes that I have to provide three months relocation uh, expenses. So I was glad to see that through the good work of the folks on this committee and folks, other folks in this building and in around the state, that we're able to come to an agreement with some of the staff six amendments that I propose. Um, and so giving some relief from property owners and also giving relief from small property owners that are smaller you know, investors that own four or less units, they are exempt from the same relocation cost. And so I know it's, uh, more than four, you're getting into the commercial aspect, and if you're going to be making uh, decisions to evict your tenants or end your lease, then you may have some responsibilities for that, and that's just part of what is here. Um, and then also, I heard that lifting the preemption on rent control will, re will result in first-generation style policies that would negatively impact the construction. So that's why I we we all know building of more units in the state, in both our populated and, and rural areas. So that's why I've added the amendment that new construction would be exempt for the first five years. And some may say that's not enough. And so we may have to look at that again. Um, so after contemplating all that I've heard, that's why I'm pre presenting. I could not support House Bill 2004 in its original um, uh, presentation form. But with these amendments, I, I can support and feel that we have worked hard to create a fair and, and equitable system in, in which we can currently protect and give our tenants an opportunity to stabilize their lives and currently protect property owners that are good workers with the investment 